Prepare yourself for a film that feels as if it's coming from a whole other time and place. Today we talk about Pavel Pavlikovsky's beautiful, sad and bittersweet Cold War. Dwa serduszka, cztery oczy Oj, oj, oj Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage and Cold War is the latest film by Polish director Paweł Pawlikowski. His previous film Ida about a young nun in 1960s Poland won the Oscar for Best Foreign Language Film and for Cold War he already won Best Director at this year's Cannes Film Festival. Maybe it has a shot at the Oscars as well because it's Poland's official submission to the foreign language film category. And I've got a feeling that I've said those words many times during the last few weeks. It is the official submission of South Korea for the best foreign language film category of the Oscars. And it's Denmark's submission to the foreign language film category at the Oscars. It's also the official submission of Japan for the best foreign language film category at the Oscars. And it's also Sweden's official entry for the best foreign language film category at the Oscars. Of course there are still many many more, but those are the ones I've seen so far and they all come highly recommended. And so does Cold War, which feels like the more realistic, arthouse version of La La Land. It's a drama slash romance and music, especially jazz, plays a very important role in it. It's a film about a passionate love story between two people of different backgrounds and different temperaments. The story is inspired by Pavlikovsky's own parents and their difficult relationship. First he wanted to tell their actual story and he planned to do so for many years, but he ended up using more general characteristics and the setting and challenges of that particular time. But he still uses their real names and the film is dedicated to them. But it feels as if it's dedicated to love itself and to people who try to let their love for each other live, even if the circumstances aren't allowing it. Like the title suggests, Cold War is set against the background of the Cold War. The film begins shortly after the Second World War has ended and it takes place over the course of 15 years. And yet it's less than 90 minutes long because Pavlikovsky decided to focus just on the most powerful and important moments. The film is full of ellipses, leaving big blanks for the audience to fill. There's enough happening in those years to fill an entire miniseries, but it's not a point to explore each and every turn in the story of those two human beings. Cold War gives us a very special insight into a different time period and how it shapes those two people and their love. Victor, played by Tomasz Kurt, is a musician who is founding a music ensemble in Poland after the war. The country has been one of the first victims of the Nazis and now a new chapter is beginning, a new time and Victor and his partners are trying to preserve Polish folk music. When they are casting new musical talents, he meets the spirited younger woman Zula, played by Joanna Kulik, and from their first encounter there's passion, there's longing and their path in life will be intertwined from this moment on. We barely spend time seeing them fall in love, but the strong performances, the direction and the beautiful music and cinematography, which I haven't even mentioned so far, is adding everything we need to know. Like his last film Ida, Cold War is shot in black and white in carefully framed images in an aspect ratio of 1.37 to 1. It's a simply gorgeous looking film that will pull you right into its time period. And that setting of post-war Poland is changing and very soon Victor feels cornered. Under the growing pressure of the state his ensemble starts to be used for political purposes and he knows that there won't be that freedom that he needs. The freedom to explore his music furthermore or just the freedom to be who you are. When he decides to flee the country their relationship will be put to the test for the first time. Or maybe it's not the first time since there's a lot going on that's not explicitly told in all details. Again, more like the opposite, the film is full of ambiguity and mystery. Zula doesn't have the same desire to escape the strong ties of the regime. In creating her character and the way she behaves, director Pawlikowski and actress Joanna Kulik had Lauren Bacall in mind. Bacall had this smoky and powerful presence and that kind of sarcastic aura. She and her husband, the one and only Humphrey Bogart, did some iconic films together. And indeed, Victor and Zula are a bit reminiscent of their on-screen chemistry and fierce romantic relationships. They won't be able to be together, yet they are yearning for each other all the time. And it's not that their link is only bringing out the best in each other, often it's very destructive as well. Cold War is dealing with those personal demons. It's passionate and at the same time 
distant because we witness many years in such a short amount of time. The film is about life in exile, the challenges of keeping his or her identity in a different culture. And of course it's also about the life under a totalitarian regime and how it affects everything. And it's also about music and how it is used to articulate emotions, ideas, shifting relationships and so on. If you have the chance to check out Cold War, you should do so. So in German I'd say, Cold War erzählt von einer starken Liebesgeschichte in einer unerbittlichen Zeit. Es ist ein sehr persönlicher Film, der zeigt wie kostbar und zerbrechlich, aber auch wie unzerrüttlich und alles bestimmt die Liebe sein kann. Eingefangen in wunderschönen Bildern und durchdrungen von betörender Musik. I give Cold War 8 out of 10. It's more like 7.9, but I don't do that. Alright, that's it like always. Comment below and let me know what you think about Cold War. And also let me know what is your favorite film from Poland. My next review will be with Dennis the Bodymeister and we will be talking about the Indian movie Aruvi. Until then, you can hit me up on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram simply at the Jimmy Cage. And if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like. And make sure you hit that bell for all I have to tell.